Nearly a dozen dogs are removed from a Dearborn home after concerned neighbors got the city involved. The Shih Tzus weren't in the best condition and are now at a nearby animal shelter. Megan Woods is there for us tonight and a lot of interest from the community about these dogs now, Megan. That's right. More than 200 adoption applications were sent in for those 11 dogs and the shelter says this all started on Monday. But when we spoke to neighbors, they said they heard those dogs whining and barking for weeks. Finally, someone sent police over there for a welfare check and that's where the dogs were discovered and removed. And now this shelter friends for animals of Metro Detroit are taking care of them. Monday, all 11 of these dogs, including a two week old, were discovered abandoned at this Dearborn home. It's really heartbreaking, especially, you know, they you think about the day they went through, you know, they were in this home, they got taken out by strange people. Since then, this notice was slapped on the door and animal control took the dogs to Friends for Animals of Metro Detroit. They were a little dirty, needed some grooming, um, you know, had some overgrown toenails. Their story got out and the community support started pouring in. As soon as we mentioned we had them, we started receiving applications, interest, and they aren't all from Michigan. We've had it, you know, more widespread. After getting more than 200 adoption applications, they had to stop accepting them. We really appreciate it. Now the shelter's focus is to raise money. The dogs were taken to the vet. Three have ear infections. Most of them had to get shaved because of matted fur. Spaying and neutering 11 dogs because we will do the puppy once she is old enough and caring for them while they're here, providing food, all of our preventatives, all of our vaccines, it really adds up and it's definitely hard to get everything at once. Now, if you want to give, we'll have that link on clickondetroit.com. And as for the investigation, we did reach out to the city of Dearborn to see where they were, but we haven't heard back. Live in Dearborn, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks, Megan.